the flu with a different kind of shot. It's not a flu shot, but a gun that goes after germs. It is a concept that's now being used in schools and workplaces. Boston 25 News reporter Robert Goulston shows us how it works. Brewster Ambulance usually responds to sick calls, but recently their staff had a spike of their own. Cases of the flu, uh, general chest congestion, and things like that, which were affecting our workforce. The ambulance went from an average of about five sick calls a day to 20 a day. So they teamed up with a Braintree company. Battery powered and just fills up with regular tap water. That makes EvaClean, a touchless disinfection system now being used by a variety of places like daycares and schools. When I want to spray a classroom down, or I'm spraying a chair down or a table down, it's nice. You can see a nice even application. The mist not only cleans the surface area, the company says it gets into areas you can't get just by wiping it down. The cleaning that actually gets done in a classroom only covers about 15 to 20 percent of the surfaces that kids can actually touch. And, and that's the problem. And it's not just in schools, it's, it's everywhere. So a lot of people don't know how dirty the surfaces are. You're going to test my phone. Right. We're going to swab back your phone here, open up our chamber to our luminometer, drop it in there, and we'll get a reading. We came back at 444 relative light units, which is bad. What should it be? Uh, you want to stay below 150. After spraying the same phone with EvaClean, the new test results came back well under that 150 mark. Much more thorough and faster, which I think is the holy grail that people are looking for in this industry. Brewster Ambulance says it has been using EvaClean for a week, and their sick calls have already dropped considerably. And they say that is helping keep their fleet at full force as flu season ramps up. We want to make sure we have as many vehicles out there for response, but also to keep our workforce healthy. In Weymouth, Robert Goulston, Boston, 25 News.